For your entire life, you've been swimming upstream. Everything that you want is always seemingly just out of reach. Doing the work feels so monotonous and boring and difficult. Building the body feels so slow. I've been going to the gym for six months. Why am I not making any progress? And then you open up YouTube and you see them. Everything seems so effortless to them. They pack on the muscle. They're absolute workhorses. They get all the girls. They get all the money. They get all the friends. What if I told you I used to look up to those guys much like you and I used to scratch my head and feel almost resentful and bitter towards them? Why does everything seem so effortless for them? But then what if I told you I recently discovered their secret? What if the answer lies in our hormone profiles? It's not your fault because the modern world in terms of hormones are such an uphill battle. They don't want men to be men. They don't want men to be disagreeable. They don't want men to be competitive. So they put chemicals in our toothpaste. They put chemicals in our shampoo to destroy our hormone profiles and our ability to produce more testosterone. Testosterone is the life force of man. It's what gets you out of bed in the morning. It's what gives you that mental clarity. It's what gets you that sexual drive towards women. It's what gets you to lift those weights with some aggression. It's what gets you to pack on the muscle and do all of that work effortlessly. I know this sounds like a crazy conspiracy theory, but it is the absolute truth. Our hormone profiles are constantly under attack by the food we eat, the products we consume, and our day-to-day -day habits. And this is what those guys who you look at on YouTube figured out early on. And that's why everything seems so effortless for them. That's why they pack on the muscle, they get the girls, they do all of the work effortlessly. Optimizing testosterone production can be really complicated and it took me two years to wrap my head around it. But for this video, I've compiled the highest return on investment things that you can start implementing in your life today to see a massive difference. Massive difference. If you implement these simple things, you're going to start to become a fucking machine. You're going to wake up with a rock hard dick every single day. You're going to be ready to attack your days. You're ready to attack your workout, your work sessions. You're going to start holding eye contact with beautiful women and your brain fog is finally going to clear up and you're going to feel a sense of mental clarity that you've not felt for years. I've been following this for a month and I've doubled my testosterone levels. Here's my results before, here's my results after. Let's go. The first thing you need to implement is eating eggs. Now I used to really struggle with eggs. For some reason my body would reject eggs. And I think it's because I ate so much processed food over the years that when I finally started to feed my body whole foods, which are packed with incredible micronutrients, which will produce testosterone for you, my body didn't even know how to handle it. And I'd get stomach pain, I'd get very constipated. And it really put me off eating eggs for a long time. But recently I've brute forced eggs into my diet and I can safely say this has been the biggest difference in my testosterone levels I have ever felt. Every single day, I go out of my way to eat four eggs before I go to bed. And every single day since doing that, I wake up with a rock hard dick. And the reason I say that is not to be abrasive, but it's because it's actually a good telling sign that you have healthy testosterone levels if you're waking up with a rock hard dick. If you think about what eggs are, it is quite literally life. And eggs are some of the most micronutrient dense food you can find on the market. And they're insanely cheap. On top of that, they'll also fill you up and satiate your hunger. There is no excuse to not be eating eggs. They also contain cholesterol, which is actually a precursor for your body to produce testosterone. Without cholesterol, you can't produce testosterone. Do you remember years ago when scientists were trying to tell you that cholesterol is really bad and it's going to cause heart failure and all the shit? Yes. The rabbit hole goes deep. They don't want you to be producing testosterone. Eggs are a superfood and you should be eating as many as you physically can every single single day. I have eggs on my habit tracker and currently I'm eating eight eggs a day minimal. Number two is eating red meat. I was a vegetarian from the ages of about six or seven years old up until about last year. So literally like 80, 90% of my life I was vegetarian. Since coming to Thailand, I've taken the conscious effort to start eating meat and implementing meat into my diet because I've seen how it can literally change other people's lives online. For example, Jordan B. Peterson and his daughter only eat red meat. 
meat. They're on a carnivore only diet. And this has solved so many of their physical ailments that they were suffering with. Red meat is a whole food. It's not processed. It's once again packed with micronutrients. It's not pumped full of chemicals, drugs. It's protein rich. And once again, it will satiate your hunger. It's also not going to fuck up your metabolism, your hormone profile, your thyroid, which a lot of processed food does. And once again, funnily enough, scientists will have you believe that eating red meat will cause cancer. This is also a psyop. Number three is vitamin D. I'm going to let you in on a secret now. If you don't live in a tropical environment, a tropical environment, not hot, a tropical environment, there is a 0% chance that you're not vitamin D deficient. If you live in the UK, you are 100% vitamin D deficient. You need to be supplementing your vitamin D. Even me, okay, I'm living on a tropical island in Thailand where the weather is anywhere between 30 to 36 degrees every single day. I still am not at the upper end of getting my vitamin D intake. You need to be supplementing vitamin D because once again, vitamin D is a precursor for you producing more testosterone. If you went to your doctor and told him that you have a concern about your vitamin D, they might prescribe you some insane insanely weak vitamin D tablets. Something like 500 IU vitamin D, which is pathetic. You want to seek out vitamin D tablets, which are 5,000 IUs, okay? They're going to actually help you up your vitamin D levels and start producing more testosterone. And if you're unsure, I suggest you do a blood test and you can find out how much vitamin D you have in your system. Number four is smashing the gym. Not just going to the gym, but smashing the gym. I met a new friend on this island recently and and he's going through a really rough time right now with a breakup. And since then, we've become gym bros. We go to the gym every single day together. But we're not just going in and doing these pussy ass exercises where we're like. We're going in with some masculine aggression. We're shouting at each other. We're taking each other to the brink of our bodies giving in on us, okay? Training hard like that is going to give you a different level of energy, okay? You're gonna fucking carry yourself with some fucking swagger if you hit workouts like that. Right now, as I'm sat in this chair, my legs are crippled. I absolutely fucking demolished my legs when I went to the gym yesterday. It feels fucking amazing. I see too many guys going to the gym with this like low level energy and they're like, I don't wanna make too much noise. I want to just keep to myself in this corner, lift my weights and go home. That's bullshit. Claim your space, unlock your masculine aggression in the gym. Go for that extra rep, even though you feel like you can't do it. And get a friend involved as well, because if you work out with a friend, I get so much more out of myself knowing that my friend is there shouting at me and also helping me get those extra reps out when I'm struggling. I want you to leave the gym in a fucking wheelchair after your leg days, okay? And five, compete. This ties in directly with what I was just talking about with the gym, but if you're in there with a friend, you're subconsciously competing with each other to see who can go the hardest on their set. So if your friend goes to fucking war on a set, okay, but you feel a bit tired, you're like, oh, I'm not sure if I can do this. You're going to hop on that set with the intention of essentially outworking your friend in a weird way. When I was hitting this leg workout, we did hack squats. My legs were fucked. I was ready to go home, but then my friend goes on the fucking leg press and does three sets of that as well. Do you think I said to him, oh, sorry, bro, my legs hurt. I'm not going to do leg press, which is 100% what I would have done if he wasn't there. No, I went on the fucking leg press and I fucking gave birth on that thing, bro. This is what healthy competition looks like. And frankly, your body's not going to produce testosterone if you don't need it. You need testosterone to compete. Compete as often as you can. Become someone who fucking hates losing. Even when I'm playing pool, okay, and it's a casual game of pool, I'm in some bar, and some dude comes up and is, oh, you want to play a game? I want to fucking win, okay? That's the mindset you've got to have. Of course, the highest T thing you can compete in is fighting. So consider taking yourself down to an MMA gym and getting around a bunch of high T males and competing. You can also compete in business. I hope that helps. And a quick tip that I didn't mention in the video because it's like super obvious, but guys, sleep. Get eight hours of sleep every single day. You're producing testosterone as you sleep. And and frankly, every single metric you can measure for performance suffers when you don't get eight hours of sleep, okay? Including hormone production. If you want to learn how to make money online from the comfort of your home or travel the world with your laptop printing cash on the go, you can join over 450 of my students doing exactly that right now. Click the first link in the description. Take care, boys.